Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today we're doing the TLN, Traveler Lab Notebook. If you're not familiar with the, that term, it's a Traveler Notebook, it's TN, but like, you know, with a ma some major upgrades. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. First thing you have to do is subscribe and then you can watch the previous video because there is a flip through of what we're gonna make today. I mean, part of it today or all of it today, I don't know how this is gonna work. Here we go. Undo this so we get a pretty good idea of where we going. So we need something like this, that long. Okay, for the measurement, I did, actually I didn't know what I was doing. So this one is made with a green hanging folder, those guys, right? So the first thing I did is I cut this right on the sides and then I had to figure out what are the dimensions of a traveler notebook. Well, you know what? You got me there because everywhere I went, everybody's got different measurements. So I figure I do my own, you do your own, whichever, what do you think a traveler notebook should be? You go right ahead. I went the easy way, which means I cut this and that. Then I cut nine inches high because I think it's a good height, right? So nine inches high. So you add up with something like this. And that's what I work with. And then, you know, as you know, things happen. I'm not gonna do it on a green folder. So here you go. I'm gonna do it on a brown folder. But those are the measurements. Now, if you don't have any folder, if you don't have any big folder, whatever your circumstances are, you can work with the 12 by 12 cardstock or serial boxes or whatever you want to use. Okay. And the only thing you get to do is go nine high and then we can work out something if you don't have the extra, you know, that we have with the folder. But, you know, as we go, we just talk about that. So, but think first, this is what I'm using. It's a legal size, heavy duty, I think, brown folder that I have to cut nine inches high. So that's the first thing I do. So this one is already cut. You need two pieces of that. So you, you need two pieces of nine inches. Now everybody wants to know what is the final dimension of the whole spread, which as I said, if you got 12, don't worry, use 12, figure out figure out the middle and then we go from there. So if you're using a folder, which I strongly suggest you do because your life is gonna be so much easier. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, and it's about 16 inches, right? I mean, it's not that precise as usual. So we go nine inches high. So I'm gonna take this one because you need two of those. Yes, yes. So nine inches high, it's about here. I'm getting right in the middle of it. I'm as usual, as I'm cutting things, you know, I talk about stuff, stuff. So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you, whoever is celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope it was good. Mine was pretty cool. Uh, anybody who is like, you know, all the subscribers, the one who know what I'm talking about, mom is doing really good. So there you go. Everybody has it. She is doing awesome. So that's one good thing. I got to cut those things here like this. You know, because I got that. And then you end up with the same. Don't ask, you know, those things. If you do this, this, and that, oh, what do you know? End up being perfect. So, hold on. I think I've got to put it. Where was the bottom from here? See, because this is my big straight. is not my forte. So, just saying. That doesn't even look. See, this is my problem. It never looks straight to me. You know why? Because usually it's not. That's why. Now we got that cleared. Okay, so we got, we have two pieces. They are nine inches by, what did I say? Some, yeah, like about 16. 
Okay, so then we take the middle of that. If you get 12, you take the middle of that too. Then you have to score. So you're gonna have to score. So depending on how your folders are, but you need to kind of have the ends about the same. So you need to score one inch. Let me show you why. This is this spot here. And having one inch here, give you the opportunity to just back up and load that traveling notebook. You can add so many things and you still have room, okay? So I say one inch. So one inch is gonna be a half inch on each side. Take your pencil, put half inch on each side of the middle. Got that. So now we scoring. If you don't have a scoring thing, uh, you can use a ruler. I'm gonna use the scoring thing because then eventually I'm gonna score straight, right? Right, so we score. So we got this one, this is good. So you score. So I guess those are eighth of inches. I don't know, you know, measurement. You just score your one inch that you took from the middle, right? Right. Okay, you only do that for one because that's the outside. This guy here is gonna do all the flip-flopping around. You know what I'm talking about, right? Later on. Anyway, just work it a little bit. That it get nice and round. And let me put a... Hold on, I'm missing a score line here. There we go. All right, so it's kind of rounding itself. It will eventually, but you know, to give it, it's easier to work on it now than later. Maybe you want to fold a little bit more your last scoring line on both sides. Not all the way, right? But just, okay. See what I'm talking about, right? It's round. It's going to round up. Okay. And then we should be about the same here. It's not really, really that. Okay. Now, it's a retrace your step thing because I made it as, you know, as the whole thing unfolded. <laughs> Duh unfold uh things came up and things started to make sense the width of each panel you know those panels those panels right here is four and three quarter why i don't know it just ended up being that so it's four and three quarter make it whatever you want it to be but here on this side of the camera, it is four and three quarter. So it's four and three quarter right here. Four and three quarter. And I'm gonna measure here because I am not, I am so unsure of me being straight all the time. But anyway, four and three quarters. So this, okay, you know what? We're gonna keep this here so we get an idea where we're going. So this is here right and you get four and three quarter but this one is longer so why because hold on you're gonna measure your four and three quarter from the last of your fold so let me explain again you have your middle right here you do have a half inch on each side so you have one inch here on this mark right here which is the half inch that you put on both sides to do your scoring, you do four and three quarter. Not from the middle, from that mark. Four and three quarter. And now that should make way more sense, hopefully. Now I'm gonna look at this here. And yes, so that's what it is. You take from the last of your fold, I mean of your um, score line, right? Four and three quarter. And then you score that. You can do it with a ruler. You can do it with, you know, whatever you have to score. That's what we're doing here. Okay. And that. 
you are gonna fold. Now on this side, see what happened on this side, as you can tell, is I don't have enough to do another flip, right? So from the last fold on this side, so you go four and three quarter, four and three quarter, four and three quarter. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm not I'm not really measuring. I didn't actually measure this one. I just you know just cut and score and fold as you went. So you're scoring that line. So, so far you did the same thing on both sides, except this side you have a flip and this side obviously you don't have enough to make a flip. Which, what you're gonna do at this point is take a half inch, half inch, make a mark, right? So right here you got four and three quarter, you have the fold, you take a half inch, you make a mark, you cut the half inch. And I hope. Okay, as usual, please watch the whole thing before I said, oh no, we shouldn't have done that because this is gonna be, uh, you know, you're not gonna be happy, right? Okay, this we keep because who knows. Then you take corner punch. Okay, I know you can, I don't really like the angle thing because when you cover it, I think it shows too much. Anyway, long story short, I'm just gonna round it like so and fold this okay now what do we do next now next we're gonna attach this to that right and then we're gonna have to do hold on I'm just looking what I did here. So, this right here, we're gonna score. You heard that, right? We're gonna add a scoring line. All right, so this way you can move this, right? I think it's an eighth of an inch. So this way, you kind of articulate good. This is gonna go here, like so, which is why you're gonna want your eighth of an inch score. This way, it can flip around. Yes, yes. You are gonna measure four and a half. So you're gonna have to start from this side, not here, here, right? because it is gonna go, I'm sorry, but it gets involved. This is gonna be here and gonna flip this way. Yes. So you're gonna need four and, four and a three quarter right here, which become, when you look at it, your right hand side. Four and three quarter. Let me measure it. Once, once we get that done and it's all together, it's like, you know what, everything else is fun. So that's just the, pretty much the annoying part. And actually it was not annoying to me because I honestly had no clue of what I was doing. So I just, you know, cut and score and fold as you went. But now because we want to redo this one, so four and three quarter. Okay, we scoring. This is gonna go here and fold like this, which means you need four and three quarter from this end. Check again, four and three quarter. Four and three quarter, you score. And what you're gonna do, because it is gonna fold, right? And you want to be able to fold and, because you're gonna put thickness in it, okay? so. Once you get that score line, you're gonna give it another eighth of an inch. So you have two score line. And that's gonna help you tremendously when you're gonna fold, because you are gonna have, you see, you're gonna have like a little 
I don't know. Can we call it a spine? Let's call it a spine. But well, you're going to have a little spine. You're going to have room to wiggle with and play with. Yes? Yes. Now we're going to take a deep breath and look at it. Right? You have this one that you made. Yes? You get your flap right here. Cool. You get your middle with all your score lines. Yes. And then you have that little half inch flap right here. This is going to go on here. Yes? This is going to fold like so. Right? So now you do have your four and three quarter. You need another four and three quarter. Yes? So you need another four and three quarter right here. So four and three quarter. And I don't remember which way we folded, but, and you know what, this is gonna come to us when, so, four and three quarter from your second score line, four and three quarter, I just measure on both ends or this way. I think I've, I've been lectured not to do that because I keep going here and nobody can see anything, right? Okay, so four and three quarter right here. I'm sorry, this is a technical part. We get to do that. When that is done, then we can just like, ooh, look at me doing things, okay? So four and three quarter. And I'm gonna recap the whole thing. Four and three quarter, and then we score. I know you have a middle here, but you didn't score anything on that one, right? And that doesn't really matter because we're going to put stuff on it, so it's going to flatten up. All right? So I am totally aware of that. Four and three quarter right here from the second line. Let me double check. Second line of scoring. Second line of scoring. Four and three quarter. Hold on one second. You get to work from your right to your left, okay? So you get four and three quarter, and you did a second scoring line. So you get to do four and three quarter from that scoring line. So four and three quarter, right here. And you give it another eighth of an inch score line pretty much every time you do a score line you double it right now where are we let's resume you have your f you, okay the height is nine inch right nine inches i'm not even gonna go through that again I'm, this is nine inches everything is gonna be nine inches or a little bit less for whatever cutout we put in it right from the middle of the fold if you have, if you're working with 12 by 12 card stock, you have 9 by 12. Yes, yes. So what you do in that specific case, you do the same thing here that you did here, which means you're going to cut a half inch, corner it, and then you're going to be able to do a flip that you're going to glue on this. This is what I was saying. If you got 12 inches, you can do that, right? Because it's just a flip. If you're using folders, you got plenty of room. So this is your flip, which is this. This flip right here, which has become a pocket. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, but it's kind of a little bit involved, but then it's, it's good, right? So from the middle of your folder, I'm going to keep calling it the folder, assuming that everybody is working with one, right? You get a half inch on this side, which is scored. From the last score, you go four and three quarter, you score, double score. It's always better to double score. And then you have a fold. Yes, yes. From this side, you go last, uh, from your last score line, four and three quarter, you double score, you cut a half inch that you fold, okay? And this is what's going to glue on the other part. The other part, which is here, which is going to glue this way, right? This part, see, I want to see which way the fold is going. It's going that way. So the second part, from the end, on your right hand side, you go four and three quarter, you double score, 
then you go four and three quarter, you double score, and then this, you go four and three quarter, and you're gonna have to cut. But before we do that, I wanna make sure I got it right, okay? So just leave it like that for the time being. We're gluing this on that, like so, and on this side, because I did it on here too. But you are actually not gonna see it. I can show you, where is it? It is right here, see? This part is glued on, that, that add-on here, that half inch. But you don't see it because it's covered. Yes? All right, got that, got that. All right, so let's put this here for the time being. We're gluing this on that. Preferably straight, you know, as you get, then when everything folds, it's kind of even. So we're gluing this on that straight. Now make sure you keep your... Okay, you do have your double score, right? So make sure you glue keeping that score. And anyway, as it goes, we're gonna keep opening it, closing it, so it's gonna it's gonna find its own, you know, fold. But all right, you're gonna glue from your last line of scoring. This way you do have room here, right? To flip in and out. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, if you if you flip one side, flip the other side, right? Because otherwise this is the law. Okay. We're gluing. Now you're gluing this this side here to this side over here. Make sure that where your fold is, right? You know that four and three quarter fold? This is what you, never mind that. This is what you want to glue on this. Yes, yes, glue, 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 glue. Okay, no glue stick because we need it to actually glue. Yes, all right, here we go, gluing. And then we're gonna fold and this and that and then suddenly it's gonna make sense. Hopefully it does. All right, there is glue. It's official. There is glue. This is what you're gluing right here on your second fold. If it's not totally even for the height like it is to me, then, you know, don't make like a little bit here, a little bit there. Just go and then, you know, Keep one side perfect and then whatever. You see what happened to me here? Then I will adjust later. But this way I only have one thing to adjust. All right, and then I'm gonna adjust this because we're not gonna scare ourselves too much. I'm good here, good here. Okay, so that's the part I'm gonna have to cut. All right, here we go. All right, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so now we have that gigantic thing. Yes, yes, so this is gonna, gonna go like this. This is gonna be your side pocket. This is where, okay, hold on. So you can follow as it goes. All right, here you got your side pocket. Here you have your like, spine right here. Here is gonna be your notebook. Here is gonna be your insert. Here is gonna be your insert. And here is gonna be, on this side is gonna be the insert, the card insert, and on this side is going to be this, right? The flip. But now, as you can tell, there is also here a pocket where I put this thing here, right? It's kind of a hidden pocket. You can hide stuff in it if you want to. And that pocket is done with this right here. 
Okay, let me resume before we get into anything else. You had two pieces of folders. The first piece from the middle, half inch on each side, scored. Four and three quarter, scored, double score. On this side, four and three quarter, double score. Then you do have your half inch right here that you glue to the second piece which is a four and three quarter double score four and three quarter double score four and three quarter yes so it's pretty much nine inches high four and three quarter all across the only thing is you double score every thing this one is really really well scored but otherwise double score this way you can move it it's gonna fold it's gonna go places like this like this and you have it ha how about that i mean if you're surprised i'm surprised too because i thought i'd never never get to it okay so pretty much this is what i ended up having right so now the next thing to do is going to be the elastic setup. I'm going to take a break here because I'm just agonizing with the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break. I'll be right back and we'll do the elastic. Okay, so we are doing the elastic. In order to do the elastic, contrary to whatever we know and that we used to do, we do not start with the front cover. At this point, we do not care about the front cover altogether because we have to take care of the back cover, right? I already edged it and edge as much as you can actually because it kind of supple the, you know, all the folds. And I mean, maybe some places you, you wouldn't have need to edge, but you know what? It's all edged with you good. When you get to it, it's all good. I don't know. I think my um, camera turned off. So I'm just going to go over that just for one second. When we were doing those folds, right? This one was like way longer like this. You cut that last fold at four and three quarter. I'm pretty sure you get that, but you know, just in case, because it got kind of cut off. Okay, so we edge, 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 and we do the back cover because when you're going to do the back cover, you're going to realize that the holes of the elastic for the elastic goes through the back cover. So you do have to do the back cover. And then, I'm even going to get you more forward into the process. What do you think it took me so long to do? <laughs> okay, you're also going to have to do... Hold on, let me take those the old things out. You're also going to have to plan for the flip, you know, to cover the 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 flat back, which is your pocket, and the inside right here. So I don't know which team you're having, but pretty much it's time to decide because you're going to have to start covering it up because of the elastic. Sorry, but you know, it's got to be done, right? Okay, so you need your back cover. You need what you're going to put on the... Um, on the flap here, or you can use your back cover and fold over if you get enough. I mean, if it's a big, you know, if it's something big enough that you can do that. And you also need the inside right here. We're doing that in order to do the elastic because it was really bugging me because I didn't want to nut the elastic inside here because it give it too much thickness. Yes, yes. So I found, okay, I was tic tac with old folders and I found those things. And I'm going to show you. So you have that, you punch your hole. Yes. And then you have that system which goes like this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell you where to get it. If you want to get it, if you don't want to get it, we can figure out something else. I will go over that eventually. Those are called elastic barb. It took me forever to find it because I didn't know what it was called. Okay, so you do this, you put it in there, and then it goes like this. You see? You hold your elastic. It's not so cool. It is totally cool. Okay, now this is what it is. And then you can put them in and out like really easily. Okay, this is what it is. 
We're going to put the uh, link below. You can find them on Etsy, but honestly, for the quantity you have on Etsy and the price of those, might as well get a whole bunch because once you get that, you found out that you can put about elastic about everywhere or, or even thread or whatever you want to put through holes and not make nuts. Nuts. It's called Elastic Barb. That's what it's called. And it's a little bag of 500, so I'm more, you know, I'm stocked up with those things. And chances are I'm going to use them a lot because it makes your life, like, so much easier. Okay? That's what I use for the elastic. The elastic itself, I use, you know, that big roll that I got for the uh, Super Duper Lab Book. I'm still on it. Now I can use elastic for a while. Anyway, so that's what we're going to use for... Elastic. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, holes for the elastic. I need my... Yeah. Okay. That's my hole puncher book. All right. I need a pokey. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Dimensions are really easy. Now, this flap here should be... I mean, whatever it is, it is, right? Mine is three inches. Okay. Let me get that. And it's nine inches, nine inches everywhere. Okay, you're gonna go two and a quarter in. All right, do you see the color of my pencil? That's the only way I can find them. All right, two and a quarter inch, right? Make a little mark here. On that fold, two and a quarter inch. I'm sorry, we're very technical and stuff, but you know, once we're done with those like really like uh, parts, you know, then we're good. I keep telling you that, but honest to God, after that, we're gonna be good. All right, two and a quarter, done, and then two and a quarter here. Good? Good. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter on the fold, two and a quarter on the fold from the bottom, not from here to there, okay? From here to there, two and a quarter, and two and a quarter here. Yes, yes. Now you're gonna go a quarter down, a quarter down, a quarter down, quarter down. I mean, this is, this is not like ultimate precision, okay? We just get kind of like, have the elastic going properly. Quarter down, right here, quarter down right here and a quarter down no not here what am i doing where is it here quarter down right here okay you should have one mark at two and a quarter from the fold and a quarter down from the top on the fold two and a quarter down and a quarter out on the fold from the bottom, two and a quarter up and a quarter out. From the fold to your left, two and a quarter and a quarter up. Yes? So you should have one, two, three, four holes. You keep this this way. You flip your page because now you have to do... Okay, see that, right? This is your back cover. You want to put your back cover on. I selected my back cover, right? Now, you're gonna glue your back cover, yes. You're gonna need a return. If you got enough paper, just go right ahead, do the whole, I don't know what your theme is, I don't know if you wanna divide it. I, okay, it really depends on what you are doing. Here, we're doing a back cover, but on the inside, right here and there i'm putting something different right so the only thing i'm gonna do is put the back cover on and i'm gonna leave like almost an inch right to have enough grip on the return yes about an inch okay and you want to leave on the top, I mean, in this specific case, I'm going to leave on up and down. I'm going to leave about, okay, three eight of an inch, okay? But you want to leave, let me show you from the other side. Sorry, you're going to keep flipping that thing back and forth, but, you know, that's what it is. You are going to need to be able to flip this over. Why? Because once your elastic is going to go through, yes... You're going to flip that back because you don't want to see it. 
okay? Which means this is gonna have to be shut, right? Now you don't wanna put glue because if you put glue and then you get that thing in there, that's not gonna work. So you need to, you are gonna need to tape this and this together that you're gonna cover eventually. I mean, I mean if you wanna leave it like just tape, you know, whatever. I don't think you will see a lot, but I like better to have a flip over. Am I making sense? I'm going to do it. And you see how that works. And then I'm pretty sure once it's done, you get it. Right? Okay. So I'm putting my back cover and it's going to be like this. I'm going to maybe give a trim here. I got my guarding dog protecting me from any intruder. Such a relief. Okay. So this is gonna... Oh, so what is your theme? All right. My theme is traveling because it's a traveler notebook. I said I would do a traveling theme. This being said, I am so traveling in style. Oh my gosh. It's like traveling the way you think traveling should be. Be luxurious, sumptuous, great hotel, all kind of leather luggages. And you are one of those people. You see what I'm saying? Never going to happen. But you know what? We can dream, right? Okay, that's my traveling thing here. This is a traveling dream. Okay, so we're going to go up and down the same way. We're going to try to do, okay, so from my last score line, right, which we made a little bit more obvious yes i'm gonna go here i'm gonna try to leave a little bit of the same here i'm gonna put the glue and i'm gonna leave i said i'm gonna be leaving about one inch so i'm gonna cut right here right here cutting we are cutting we are gluing this is we giving it a go we're doing that thing got it I didn't measure that thing, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, keep the finger crossed. We good, we good. All right, where's my back? Okay, if you if you don't remember in the whole thing, this is where the big the big scoring spine is, right? This is where we're working on. All right, the back of it. Flip that whole thing over. Okay, and now we are gluing this like so it's a, i think it's an optical effect with the uh i like to think that okay i'm just gonna line on this you see what i'm saying it's kind of disturbing that what was that all gone okay so like this like that and then i will fold on the other side i need to make sure i guess and that okay i'm gonna put the glue and then we hope for the best yes yes glue Again, I mean, really, seriously, this is a traveler notebook. Actually, it's a traveler lap notebook. You're going to take it places. This is going to go everywhere. You're making it for yourself. You're going to use it. You're making it for somebody. You want them to use it. You get to make it like solid. You use glue, not like, you know, little glue stick thing. I got nothing against glue stick. Actually, yes, I have a lot. <laughs> I do have a lot against glue stick. I don't know, though. It, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Does not. Okay, so put your glue on that back cover. And if you're scared, don't worry. I am scared, too. Just hope this is going to be exactly right. And if it's not, we're just going to make it right. Okay, there's enough glue on this thing. Closing this. Okay, I want to leave enough on the top and the bottom to be able to flip over. I think I'm about even here. Okay, we did it. Where is my right here? Okay, and that's when things start to be happening. You flip it. There's so much to that story. You don't even know. Okay, so this is going to be like this. And then you're going to... All right, if you're covering the whole thing, good for you. I'm not, right? So... I'm going to have to fold this here to get a grip on that side, right? Okay, so doing that right now. But I'm not gluing it right away. Because in order to glue it, I'm going to have to detach. I sure hope it makes sense. All right, so right here, I'm going to cut in an angle. And right here, I'm going to cut in an angle. Not all the way to the corner. Okay. 
All right. Now, where your pocket join the, you know, the, the, whatever you call it, this. Let's call it this. So when your pocket join here, you are going to have to cut this part here right there because you're going to flap this over and you don't want it to be in the way. Blade. It's not that hard, it's just a little bit tedious, okay? I'm sure there's plenty technical word to explain that thing, but... So you're just gonna cut a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's make it easier. If we do this... Nope, it's not gonna work. Okay, let's fold this. See, I want this to be over the flap just in case that was not clear, right? This is going to have to be over the flap, and this is going to be like this, like that, and then I'm going to put my cover over it. Now, this has got to go, right? Yes? Right here. It has to go. So, you can actually mark it, right? And then you cut that right here on this side and on that side. I mean, you can use scissors, okay? And just, like... You know, blade is easier. I got to find the top of that because I'm just going to poke myself. I don't know. Things disappeared. Things disappeared. They're gone. It's gonna, they have nowhere to be found. Okay, be careful. There is some open blade on the table. All right? And this you're going to glue down. And this is good because it's going to give you like, you know, it's going to stabilize your back cover. Oh, here's that thing. I don't like those things. I don't even know where the other one... Anyway, it's a long story. There's a story about that blade. I'll tell you another day, but... Okay? But you are going to cover that, right? So actually, if you're covering it... Hold on. Do yourself a little favor. Put a little angle here. And a little angle here. This is real craft now. You know, we're doing things like... Ooh, this is happening. All right. I put glue, so... Could you please glue? There we go. All right. So now we have the back cover on. We have this addressed. We're going to do this. We get to punch the elastic. Punching. All right. So on your holes. Where is it? Okay. Don't, don't punch it like all the way the way through. Just make a mark because it's better to repunch it from this side than this way the, your paper is going to stay in. I hope I'm making sense. All right, so you punch here. Just make a mark. Here, here, here. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four holes. Yes, we're shredding the elastic. All right, elastic. It's gonna go from here to here to here to there, but it needs to loop out, right? It needs to loop out because you need to be able to go over. And as you know, you're going to put uh, so much stuff in there, right? So how do we figure this one out? Well, we're figuring it out by shredding it. So let me do the holes better. I barely see them here. See this way, the paper goes in. And make them big enough for your elastic so your elastic doesn't, you know, rip the paper when it goes through. I hope this is making sense. I'm just saying, you know, things happened to me while I was doing the other one, so it's a leave and learn. All right, you get all your hold on one, two, three, four. Yes, yes. All right, I'm sorry if it looks like it's a little bit confusing and out of order, but as much as when you're making something, it kind of goes along. When you try to redo something, that's when everything goes. Okay, we're starting from here. So where is my thing here? So you put that little barb, like I show you, right, on it. It has to be the end. Okay, you know when you put it right, that when you take both ends of the bob, your elastic is in the middle. Sure hope you can see that, right? The elastic in the middle. If you put it, if you put it the other way around, your elastic is not going to be in the middle. It's going to be toward the end. 
You have to put, when you put your elastic in it, you have to lay it flat on the whole length, right? And then you punch here. We're going to have to redo the other, to do the other side anyway. So you do only one side, okay? Got enough elastic that you can play with, so you don't have to drag or roll with you. But we're going to measure as the thing unfold, okay? So from here, you go in. This is what I said. Make that thing big enough. All right. And now what happened, it goes like this, you see? Yes, yes. Then it goes through here. Now, in order to thread the thing, you have 500 of those, right? So you just use another one and then you cut it out later on. All right, so, because it's really helpful to thread anything for that matter, I found out. All right, so. Here's another demonstration. You put the elastic on the whole length of the bob. Yes. Take your pliers, your tweezers, or whatever you have, and you smoosh the barbs flat. Now, don't be scared to press, okay? Because you don't want your elastic to go away, do you? I don't think so. Okay, right? And your elastic is in the middle. Okay, goes in here. All right, so here, you're gonna leave enough room, right? To go over and be able to close. So you just loop it. I mean, it cannot be too loose either. So I will say, try it out, right? And you get enough and it's loose, so you know you can add. So that's good. This is going to be like this. I'm looking at this one, how much I have out. I have a little bit less. This one is bigger. And then you can adjust them anyway, right? I think I'm going to make it a little bit tighter. I'm sorry, I cannot give you measurement for that because, you know, it's, you get to, you know, it's crafting. You get to feel it, right? So you take a little bit less, right? Like so. Yes? Okay. Now, you can always adjust. Okay, so we're not gonna really flip out about that. You go to the next one. Okay, hold on, it doesn't get keep flipping that thing. Here, you go in here. Ooh, we doing things. Oh my gosh. All right, come on you, in there. Okay, so you don't wanna do that. You wanna make the hole bigger. See? All right, and then you leave about the same thing down here. Don't rip your paper. I mean, you can you can put eyelet if you get, you know, eyelet is gonna go all the way to here, which, you know, that big crocodile thing, I don't have one. I mean, I, I don't really care for the crocodile most of the time anyway, so I don't think I will get myself a big one anytime soon, anyway. You know, untwirl, if it's twirled, there we go. Nope, the other way around, Patricia, the other way. There we go. All right, we give it a loop. Okay, let's get a loop here, add a loop there. Does that look loopy to you? All right, I don't know how to put it so you can see what kind of loop I have, right? Like that type of loop. Yes. Okay. And now you are here. Yes. So you are here. So you put your finger on the elastic right here. You take another one of those 500. This is why I said just grab a bag of 500. There, there's a gold option as well. I don't know when I took, you know, ch chances are you're not going to see them where you put them. So it doesn't really matter anyway. Where your elastic is, right? You pinch right there and you pull. So you pull the whole thing now. So you get something to work with, right? And then you're gonna cut 
with like a quarter inch. Yes, because there's going to be your barb. Ready? Bam. Okay. You put the barb. Don't forget, don't put it this way now, right? Just got to line up. Okay. It's got to line up the whole way in. All the way in. This is involved. We are involved. Okay, come on. In. Thank you. Okay, press. Press the other side. Double press. That thing is pressed. And now, when you pull on it, ta -da! Right, right. Okay, so pretty much you have your elastic in. Yes? Yes! We did it! Okay, now, see, now you're not gonna see any of that, right? We're gonna cover this here. Okay, once your elastic is done, it's like this. Just shut this. and glue this and then you're gonna glue this so I'm gonna angle here and angle here and glue this here and then we're gonna do that corner here. Actually, I'm gonna put the corner in. Like so. We glue this first, and then we glue this. Yes, yes, and then we're gonna re-glue stuff. I mean, if you do it in, if you're making it in one piece, it is obviously way easier. But why should we make it easy? All right, again, we're gluing like we mean it. Yes, yes. Strongly suggest you clip like so. Hold on. Here, this is gonna glue here. Okay, gluing. I mean, you are seriously gluing that thing, right? Right. Clippy. Clippy. Bam. Same thing here. I'm running out of clippies. Oh, I know what I didn't do. Guys, you didn't stop me. Oh no. Wait, I was supposed to put the inside here. Okay, stop everything you're doing. You got to put the inside. Where are they? Well, I'm gonna slide them in, but you know what? That we have been so much smarter, right? But anyway, okay, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna slide them in. So, um, if you didn't do it, do this first, your inside, then flip, right? Right. Okay, okay. Now, I'm so sure it never happened to you, right? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. Why am I doubting that? You know, that's why it's good to see other people doing stuff. Because you're like, oh, see? That's one mistake I'm not going to make. Exactly. Okay. All right. This goes in here. I need... And now I need this to be open. Oh. All right. I need right here i already decided that i want it here okay all right can we wiggle that thing in oh yeah yes no yes no how far do i have to go oh not that far okay a little bit more clips are right there i need something here so i'm just gonna no if you did the same thing than me that should totally do it. Yes. I think it needs a little bit more here. Sorry. Now we're like in to the patching things up. All right. So because you're so much better than me, right? Just remember, put your inside before you do the, my good. You know, that's why when you give those gifts, people will never know really how much 
involved the whole thing was. Yes. 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 Okay. So, I'm going to resume what we did, right? And how better you, you did it. That was easy because that was just like, just got carried away with that thing. Okay. So you punch all your holes, you weave your elastic. Yes. You flip your, this part here, this part here. Then you put your inside, whatever you want to put inside. Not like I'm doing it afterward. Like after thought, oh, look, I could put something here, right? No, you're doing it right. So you do that. Then you do the whole flip thing gluing. Yes? Yes. Okay. So now we're gluing this. How are we gluing this? Well, let me tell you, we're just going to glue it that way. And that's why your last score line is pretty important. Okay, this goes here. And I'm putting enough glue that I'm going to be able to kind of slide it. This is a struggle! Okay, we're not doing upside down. Mm -mm. All right, we're just inserting in. And as soon as I get the top right, I'm just going to maneuver. Yes! I have a thingy here. All right. One, two. Yes. We take... All right. Now I'm going to put something here. This is what I'm putting here. This. Ooh, this is cool. This is really cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it big time. Putting this here like so. I like that a lot. Okay. Rounding corners. Like small. Just just so they don't, you know, get pointy in the way. And that's gonna go here, like this, like that. Do I like it? Yes I do. I'm gonna edge. You know, I usually like to kind of, you know, put the papers and everything when things are done. But in that specific case, now, mm -mm, nope, you get, you get to do the, the covers for the elastic anyway, as it come, because otherwise it is not got no work. Okay. Gluing this. Okay. We don't see It's going to make my life so much easier now. Okay. Cool. Ooh, ooh. And I am gluing this guy right here. Okay. Gluing. Hold on. All right. Sorry, it's not all, all, all together, but it's only the second one that I'm making, you know? So it's like, it's not mass production here. Maybe I'm going to shade that a little bit more later on. Okay. But we're not doing that right now. We're just getting on with the nitty gritty. All right. So glue. All right. Just got to make sure it's everywhere. Yes. Clippies. Okay. And then you let it dry a bit. And then we start working on this. Because this has even more elastic. Ooh. There we go. Okay. So now we're not bothering with that anymore. This is staying right here. Okay. This here. This is the booklet. This is so cool. All right, we're doing this part right here, this, that. So you get to find something to put here. You get to find, well, you know, we get to the booklet later. I'm going to tell you why, because no matter what your result is, then you do your booklet. So this way, you know, your booklet is going to fit in. Yes. Yes. So sensible. All right. So we need background. We need those two little flips here. We need to shred the elastic and we need something to put in the middle. Yes, yes. Okay, so are we going to need this? I think it's pretty obvious, but now I got to figure out what am I putting here. And I think what I'm putting here is I kind of picked already, you know, my choice of things here. All right. So this is what I wanted to put here because in all in the scheme of all things, 
kind of match a little bit with this. Do you know if there is shade or shadows or things like that? Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can take that out. It's because there's so much sun. Yeah, took the shadows out. Because already there's shadows on here. So it means like, you know, how much shadow do you need? All right, so this is going here. And this is a pretty forward thing because you're just gonna face the whole entire thing right from your last score line to the next score line nine inches ba 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 you know that story okay so before we even get into anything and before we forget we are edging now this fold right here yes that's the fold where you have an extra half inch going in the back and you glued the other folder, right? Right. Yeah. Whew. Okay, She's done with that. This is gonna have to go here. Yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna cut that thing out and then I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right, so I cut this the way I wanted it and it's gonna go like this. I rounded the corners just a little bit, you know, the, the to this day I still don't know, but the small size here right okay so i got that now out of your cut I cut out folders and things you need two of those those are gonna be this this and that yes yes put it here okay so those guys are well you cannot make them as you know what you do the lengths you want but here we got four and a quarter is it gonna go like this? Sorry, like this, right? So four and a quarter, four and a quarter, and all together. I mean, it was already pre full It's just like a cut out that I had. And it's like one and three eight. What do you mean? You know, you can do two inches if you want to. Doesn't matter, right? Now, you get to cover those. I don't know what you want to cover those with. I know what I want to cover them with. It's, it's like a... Um, an advertisement for, I don't know, luxury bag, because we do luxury. So, this is a cool, I think that's like, uh, looks like gator skin or um, crocodile, whatever. Some kind of scaly animal. Gonna take a little bit of the shine off. Okay, so whatever you wanna, you know, put on those, on those flaps, right? But you can, use words if you want to, I don't know, depending what your theme is, you know, you just do your things and doing your things. Okay, I'm going to cut that in a half, and I think I should be good. Bam, bam. All right, so I got my little things here. I'm going to cover this, right, and I'm going to cut around it, then we're going to round the whole thing out. Where's the other one? Here. Glue, glue, glue. Because it's, okay, I don't want to be doing the same thing that I did with this C inside here, right? You know, that I didn't, I'm just gonna really, really focus on the, on what I'm doing here. Hmm, that'd be different. All right, gluing. All right, I'm gonna put this guy here. Okay, same thing here. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna make holes, we're gonna use the, Length of elastic, and then we'll be done with the elastic setup. We're gonna this way we can you can put all your elastic stuff, things, this and that out of sight. Done, done, done. Right, right. Okay, this goes here. Yes, yes. Okay, now trim a little bit here. Bam. Same thing here. Trimming. Okay. So this is gonna go here, like so, right? So we're gonna have to glue those first and put the background second. Yes, yes. So we're gonna have to kind of eyeball the things somehow in the middle. We're gonna have to punch the holes now because <laughs> then after that it's gonna be too late. Okay, I'm gonna round those corners here, like around them here, because I think it looks nicer. I'm going to use the middle one. One, two, there we go. One. Oof. 
You need to be so strong. Ah, nope. There we go. All right, we're doing, we're taking the, this here. Okay, we're doing all of that before we even start. Okay, now the holes for the elastic, I'm gonna just pull that down here for a second. Okay, you cannot put them too far out because it's gonna kind of pull on your, on your tab here, right? On your little flap. So it's got to be fairly in the middle. I mean, in the middle, like three quarter of the way. Yes, about, about. It's not an exit science. Just do both at the same time. This way, you know, you're good, right? So we said this is about four and a half. Yes. All right. So four and a half. I mean, I'm doing visual. I know, you know, like I should be measuring everything, but I think... I don't really, I think it should be somewhere here and somewhere there. So that would be about, let me see, one inch in, right? And so that would be here and then one inch in, that'd be there. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to work on the other side. Let's take this out for a second. So from the side, we go one inch, okay. Take your middle of this. Where do I get? I got uh, one, two, I got three quarters. So it's gonna be one, two, three, eight. Three, eight. I, I don't care because it's the back, right? Okay. And on that line, I say one inch on both sides, right here and right there. I'm doing the same thing here. I got three quarters, so I go Three eight, three eight. Pretty much the middle. I mean, it doesn't have to be that precise, okay? I mean, it's just like I know, I know because I know some of you don't measure and some of you just go by the book. So you know, somewhere in the middle of all that, we measure a little bit, we eyeball a little bit, right? Everybody's happy, okay? And then we say one inch. So one inch right here, and then one inch right there. Bam. Okay. Now just put them together to see if it's kind of, yep. Looks good to me. All right. We need that thing. We need eyelet. We need, if you don't have that thing, if you don't have eyelet, you can just punch hole like I did for the elastic, right? I mean, I didn't put anything there. They, you're good. Okay. So that's, that's not an excuse not to do it. Just saying. Okay, we need this. All right, we're punching holes. One, two. Look at that. Same thing here. One, two. All right, we're putting eyelet. Eyelet. One, two, three. Oh, and you also, you get to think about what you're going to put in the middle here, right? And I picked, I'm gonna put this in the middle here. Ooh, that looks cool, right? Okay. So maybe I go with gold because it's kind of gold. Okay, hold on. Are we changing everything? We're doing gold. All right, one, two, three, four, right? I think this is gonna be kind of cool. Cool. Totally like it. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, this, you guys go back in. All right, we're doing eyelet. All righty then. Just remember the base is down, right? Right. One, two. One, two. Two. And you know what? Those are extremely rewarding because you don't really care what it. Oh, look at that. They came out perfect. You don't really care what they look like in the back because they be hidden. Yeah. Love that thing. Okay. Now, this is going like this. You see? It's going to be like somewhere here, right? So we're going to measure that. I mean, I like to do it visually, you know, I don't know, I don't know but. Like so. Okay, okay. I'm taking this off. I'm making a mark on both sides, and that's where I'm gonna glue that guy. Yes, 
Yes. We good. We good. We are glowing. You adjust on your line. You make sure you go all the way up. Yes. Line up with your top. Okay. And you do the same thing with the bottom right there. Yes. Put the background again where you think it should be. About here. Take this out. Right. Take the glue. Apply the glue. Put the cap on top of the glue and put it down where it should be. Line it up with your bottom. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Right. You're just lining up with the bottom part. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but you know, what do I know? All right. And you let it dry. Now, really you let it dry because you are going to put elastic is going to pull on it. Yes. Yes. So you just let it dry nicely. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, whatever you're going to put in the middle, which is going to be this here. So I'm going to have my background like this, and this is going to go like this, right? I mean, that's a cutout out of a magazine. But because it's a cutout of a magazine, it is way too flimsy. So you take something really thick, you know, like a good cardstock, whatever you're going to put in the middle, or, you know, like if you guys... Do you remember when it was the fashion to do tiles for everything, right? And it's like doubling up. Okay, make something really sturdy, right? Because the only way to take your book out is to constantly pull on this. It's going to be to pull on this. So you want that to be sturdy. Yes, yes. So glue it on something sturdy. If it's not sturdy enough, double it. Get it ready. And then we punch that. We see where the holes have to go. And then we good. Yes. Yes. So I'm gluing this and then I'll be right back. All right. So cut it. I doubled it. And now I'm going to cut. See, I doubled it. I put two cardstock. I mean, kind of different, but almost done. So I don't know if you do with birds, you know, get a nice bird. If you do butterfly, get a nice butterfly, a nice flower or not. So whatever you do, you know, if you're doing, I don't know if you're doing it for a guy for like fishing or golfing or I don't even know what they do, but whatever they do, right? Just get one component. I mean, we're traveling. We need like, you know, that. We totally need that. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay. So I'm saying, I, I, I told you, I warn you, I'm doing luxury travel. So luxury, luxury it is. No, but I'm going to have fun to kind of line up that thing. But anyway, this is what I picked. This is what I like. This is what's going to be. And that's all there is to it. How about that? Ooh, that looks cool. Okay. All right. This is going to go. You know, this is the thing. Those flips are so annoying. Uh, hold on. I'm going to put a clippy here. I think. All right. So this is going to go here like so. This is going to go down like this. See? And now you see that maybe you need to trim because obviously it's wobbling a little bit, right? Okay. And this is going to be... <gasps> this is cool. So I'm going to have to put a hole here and a hole there right right okay we're not there yet Ooh, that is not gonna be easy all right well you know pick something easier ah, like uh you know or, or you can find a nice initial if you give it to somebody right just saying be easier be kind of rectangular that looks good it is still you know make sure before you glue it that it doesn't wobble so we're gluing this like right now. All right, I'm going to do my favorite trick, which is I'm going to glue half. Then I glue. Okay, right side up. Yes, so make sure, right? Because obviously, as you can tell, things happen. Yes, this is right side up. This is right side up. So far, so good. Almost got a disaster, but you know what? All right, so I'm going to do like this. Glue half of it. If you, if you think you're good enough that you can just do the whole thing, just... Go right ahead. Be my guest. I'm not moving this piece of background anywhere. Does anybody think there's enough glue? I think. Okay. This is glued. Now we're doing 
this the other side it is glued yes yes Ooh, that looks cool i say all right now we need to figure out this thing right so you need let's go back here you need two holes on the top two holes in the bottom right and then hopefully it's kind of straight but you can you know later on you can adjust it right but still you need to kind of have it together as they say let me see one here one there one here one there okay and one there and then i'm gonna go straight down now all right so hopefully yours is not as complicated but you get to figure out your spots right so let's say you take something simple not like i did okay you pretty much keep in mind that you need enough room for your eyelet or your hole you know what i'm talking about you cannot go on the edge right and then same thing from the sides right and then i mean it's a visual thing i'm pretty sure you can put four holes in right watch me not being able to do it okay but anyway i think i'd be good if i do this because then it's gonna be like this and then it's gonna look exactly right okay and you know what you never know until you do it here all right let's do it here 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 i cannot believe i picked that thing and this is the easiest this is the hardest thing to even try to make sense of okay should be good all right oh now we need more golden stuff one two that's gold that's gold that's gold here all right one two three four same thing now those you got to to um you know put really nice because you're gonna keep sliding your book in and out right so you don't want it to be you know like rough on the other side all right base 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 is down one two Ooh, that looks good oops that looks so cool okay three and four all right all right so now this is dry and this is gonna go like this yes like so we need what do we need we need the elastic okay so the elastic is gonna go it's gonna go from here to here to here to here to here to there to there to here to there and back okay mistake all right we're taking one more of those things we're gonna need two so Telling you something, once you start using those things, phew, there's no end to it. You just want to use them. I need my pinches. Here they are. Okay, so this goes all the way. Okay. Again, take the bar part in your finger, line up the elastic properly. Take the pinchy, pinch away. This way, that way, the other way. Pinch it even more. Okay, and then we're gonna start doing, so that weaving goes really easy, actually. Okay, it goes like this, all right? And then, see? And then it stops. Oh, how cool is this? All right, it goes in here. I mean, you can make knots if you need to, right? If you're using a thread or a thin elastic, you can totally make, I mean, I made other uh, traveler notebook that I didn't have those, but this is so cool. I don't even know how to, how do you say cool? cool? Okay, here we go. So this goes in here. This go out of here. Yes. Yes. It goes in here this way, right? From the outside. Like so. Goes back to the outside from the inside. Go back in, go back out. And then it's going to go back in here. And then we get to figure out what we need. Yes? Yes. Okay. So first that things get to go down. See, that's when you start to kind of figure out what you got. Okay. All right. So you need some pull. You don't, you don't want to pull it like a maniac because this is going to, you know what I'm saying. It's going to, otherwise it's going to pull on your, on your book. 
and you put your booklet. Do I have a booklet that I can use here? Thank you. Then it goes in here, like so. All right, how do you spell perfect? Okay, I need to pull a little bit more on here. I think it still needs. Okay, I'm gonna have to be happy with the tension that I'm putting on that thing, right? Okay, you just play with it until you think you have it right. All right, so if I stop it here, that looks good, right? I take this out. That's a little bit too much. All right, so you pinch your finger, you make a kind of a physical and mental note of where that goes, and then you put the other one in. So same thing, you lay it down, you press it in, all right, and then it does that T shape, right? Then you insert it in like so, and if all goes good, it will open in the back, and here you have it, okay? Then you adjust, you know, whatever you were having there, and you have your insert for your book. Yes, yes, all right. So this is done, this is done. Now, you can take all elastic things and those things, the bob things, we're not using that anymore, that goes here. All right, and then therefore you have your elastic setup, right? And the, you know, the little bob things are in the back here. Yes, yes. Okay, this is done. This is good. You got this elastic setup and you got the other elastic setup. You can even try it, you know? See, okay, does it work? Oh, watch this. It does. Cool, cool. All right. So that. Okay, so next part we do all the insert. Yeah, next part we do all the insert. Now there's this insert, that insert, that insert. And then maybe we do the pads and the back and the book. I don't know. We see how that works, right? But anyway, we try to get as much done as possible. Thank you so much for being here. It was so really nice to do stuff with you. Of course, if you didn't already, please subscribe. Thank you to all of you who already did because you are so smart. You guys, you know where good stuff is. And see you next time for uh, All Insert, the Insert Saga. All right. Happy making, happy crafting. Bye.